Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red ABC and welcome to this, what, May, mid-May edition of Saturday Night Live. Wow, this year is just absolutely flying by, I can't believe it, holy smokes. Yes, indeed, we have got some awesome people stacking up that chat already, let's say hi to who is here. We got I Like Knives, Kyle Duffy, Stuff We Do, Leland Phil is here, Ethan's here, awesome, Eggs and Ham, and I just saw Miss Katie come in before I scrolled back, so welcome to you both. Dennis is here, hello. All right, Eggs, Talbert's here, Napster Ninja's here, ID's here, Tim, hello, Mark, welcome, welcome. Leo is here, G-Man. Rick is here, right on, stacking it up. Nebuclaw, what's up, Jason? Welcome, how you doing? Very good to see you. That There's Katie, I saw her here. Corbin's here. Peter, good evening, my friend. RJ, hello, good evening to you as well. Lou, there we go, we got to give him a Lou. Give Lou some love there, give him some Lou love. <laughs> Very good. Hello, hello. Christine, the lovely and wonderful Christine has joined us. Thank you very much. Evolved EDC, how you doing? Glad to have you. Jason's here. Hello. Sue Chicken is here. Beefer. Wow, everybody's jumping in. That is so cool. You guys are awesome. Lorenzo, welcome, bud. Glad to have you. Last Ranger's here. How you doing, Gary? Very good. Sweet. Scott's here. People are still jumping in. Absolutely awesome. Guys, I hope you had a fantastic Saturday. Hey, Andrew, welcome. Thanks for jumping in, man. Nellie and I had a great Saturday. We were worked our butt off out in the yards all out in the yard all day, mowed, doing all that good stuff, planting stuff. And hey, Marcos, welcome. Glad to have you join the live stream, man. Thank you very much. Um, Mad Hatter's here, Zenny's here, everybody jumping in. Woohoo! Um, and then this evening, wow, Nellie and I got involved in a very, very rousing game of kid. I think it was called Kids Create Absurdity. Hey, Todd. Hey, Grom. What's up? Don't know if you guys have ever seen that, but I'm sure you, a lot of you have, has, have heard and it probably have played Cards Against Humanity, which is a really, really fun and just awesome game. And you can do all sorts of silly stuff. Well, Kids Create Absurdity is basically an eight-year-old friendly version <laughs> of Cards Against Humanity. And instead of all the crazy stuff you have in the adult version, you have stuff like eye boogies and sticky boogers and poop <laughs> on these cards. But it was fun. They were laughing. They were giggling. We were, everybody was having a good time. So very very fun. So just got home, got everything set up. We're going to town and now it's time for SKL. So, hey, Ian, welcome, buddy. So, oh, yes, yes. Having a good week, Christine, or excuse me, Katie, thank you very much. And it's going to get even better on Wednesday when I go home to visit my mom. So really, really looking forward to that, uh, going to Nebraska for a while and seeing mom and seeing the rest of the family and everything. So, Got to take advantage of those opportunities when I can. So just a little note about that. I am going to try to do a an SKL on the road next Saturday. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how that goes. Do an SKL on the road from Nebraska. We're going to try to give it a shot. So it was a fun day. It was a fun day, Beaver. It really was. And... You know, playing cards with those two, <laughs> that that just topped it off. It was a lot of fun. So, yes, Miss Katie, how's your knee doing? How are you doing? You, everything, you know, recovery going okay and all that good stuff. Hope it is. Hope you're coming along well. So, yeah. Yeah, look out, Nebraska. Red's coming home. Yeah, I hope to be doing some fishing. Oh, Katie's making brownies. Oh, okay. Um be there in a bit. Um, <laughs> but yes, 
yeah, really looking forward to it. Like I said, going to try to do an SKL on the road. You know, that was kind of a goal of this year because last year just kind of like, you know, mm, yeah, it just didn't work out. So we're going to try to do it. We're going to see how it works. And if not, well, you know, we'll figure something out. Hey, Greg, what's up, bud? Didier's here. What's up, buddy? Welcome. Welcome. So, all right, guys, we kind of started off the same way every week. It was, kind of. It was. I went like that. Yeah, it was my very, very poor Donald Duck impression, I guess, is what you might call it. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome, Zenny. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, guys. Give Zenny some love. I don't think anybody wants to see me in a swimsuit, but uh, I'll still give you some love for your donation, brother. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Yay, Stuart's still awake. All right, very good. All right, guys, it's time. Let's hear what you guys were carrying today. Let's get that rolling. What did we have? And then I'll show you. Well, no, I probably left it downstairs. Yeah, I did. I left it downstairs. I was carrying my Penguin and my Metal Art 2 from Bird. So, oh, waiting on an MRI, but it's better in a full okay okay well good i well i hope you i hope the recovery goes well katie for sure all right let's see zach has a mini adamas g-man has the richard rogers f4 jason brown has a qsp gannett uh doo -doo -doo. grom had the kershaw mixtape and the winger trout very nice uh, peter has the best tech exploit very good Let's see what else. I was keeping up for a minute. Uh, Custom Barrage from J hey, Jack. How you doing, bud? It's good to see you, man. Sweet. Everybody say hi to Jack. If you guys remember, you know, Jack was the one that did my initial intro and stuff for me. So welcome, bud. It's good to see you, man. CGRB Rios. Rio Rios? Is that okay for Greg? Uh, Paul Bessemer had the Benchmade Grizzly Ridge. Auto fact for Lou. All right. Oh, where'd he go? Now there, I lost you. <laughs> Jumps around. Uh, the Kloss Copperhead and the Kershaw Dividend for RJ. Nice, man. Stuff we do had the Helix. Andrew has a Finch Holiday and the Civi V Pintail. Corbin has the Spider Co. Smock. Oh, nice. Spider Co. Yo Jumbo for Jason. Okay. Beaver has the Azula. Nice. Bird Kara Kara 2 Rescue Knife. I, I Why does that not surprise me, Stuart? I think that's probably one of your favorite knives, I believe. Very cool. Eggs had the Tucson TS243 in carbon fiber. Oh, yeah, the one you got from Justin and Molly. Nice. Zenny had the Recon 1 Leg Cutter. <laughs> Guess there's a story there. Didier has the Neutron. Very cool. Dennis had the Rat 2 and the Artisan Jonas. Okay. Uh... Blue Bug Out and a Case Peanut for Tim. Nice. Oh, Talbert was carrying a Beyond EDC. Oh, nice. Ian had the Neutron 2. Sue has the Rough, Roan dog, dog, Rough Rider Dog Bone Jack. Those are cool. I like those. The lovely and wonderful Christine had a Bug Out. Nice. Mini Adamas and a Kubi for Lorenzo. Rat 1 for Brian. Hey, Brian, how you doing? The Navy Bug Out for Ethan. Okay, very cool. Oh, ID has the Sabibi Shredder, Leatherman Micra, and Hank's that rock Sugar Pumps Hank. Nice. Sugar Pups Hank. Oh, brownies are done. Nice. Kershaw Black Horse, my like knives. Okay, cool. Hashtag Jack's back. Yeah, man, that's awesome. QSP Worker and a quick, oh, with a quick thumb. Oh, nice. And a Rough Rider Work Knife from Mark. Very good. Rick has the large feldspar and red micarta. Ooh, nice one, Rick. Nice. Leo has Tucson TS-255, Puna, and Piranha. All right. Napster Ninja had the Latvin Mini, the Boba Fett. Yeah, we like that one, don't we? Last Ranger had the Civivi Odium. Oh, very cool. That's the one you got from Sub Suburban Tactical. Very cool. Ooh, doo -doo. Steadyman PRKI for Chad. Nice. 
20 CV Capara for Manny. Gino V, what's up, buddy? Rhea, I, I was thinking it was Rhea. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. That's all right, Greg. No worries. I got you, man. You're good. You're good. Kershaw Blur and M4 for Gino. Nice. Oh, let's see. We jumped again. Did I miss anything? All right. Oh, hey, Triple E. What's up, buddy? All right, here we go. Did I get them all? Oh, Scott Simmons. You had the ProTech Emerson CQC7 auto and a 1981 Case Teardrop Jack. Oh, that's nice. Jaeger Blades Baron and the Hinderer full, full TI Warning XM18. Nice, man. Dang, y'all got some nice carries here. Very, very cool. Well, like I said, I was going to show... Hey, CK, what's up? Monster's here, too. Woohoo! And Topher. Yeah, all right. Awesome. John Gunter's here. Hello. What do you recently got a pair of two? In C oh, in Rex 45. Nice. Nice. Very good. Awesome. I think I'm caught up. Oh... Brian, okay, hello. Yep, okay, I'm caught up. There we go, okay. And I saw what Nebu Cloud said about RJ's knives. Yeah, guys, if you guys haven't checked out RJ's knives, please do so. He's got some really cool stuff. And I know to me, to me, he's kind of got the, he really kind of brings the tool as, I know we all talk about knives being tools and stuff like that, but he really brings the tool aspect uh, I think, and he brings it out a little bit more, which is very, very cool. So if you guys get a chance, go check out RJ's channel. And trust me, RJ is definitely on my list to do a channel chat with, for sure. Um, there's a few things in the works as far as the channel chats go. I will tell you that the one just posted this morning with Peter and Christine, oh my goodness, that was so much fun. Um, I had an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. It was so much fun. You both just awesome, awesome people, and I'm just so glad. I'm glad to have the opportunity to know the both of you. Oh yeah, Jack, the cus the SKL sign, uh, Micah from Black Bear Custom Kydex made that for me. So, and I will tell you, coming, I have recorded two additional to kind of cover when I'm gone. Uh, next week, we will be hearing from our buddy Jake from Ohio State. And then the following week, we will be hearing um, from uh, Austin, from uh, C. Reisner, Cutlery, and traditionalpocketknives.com. They do have a channel. He does like little spots on knives, kind of like shorts almost. Um, but of course, then they have traditionalpocketknives.com, the, the website, but... I really, in talking with Austin, I really wanted to do a channel chat with him because the story about him and his grandfather starting the business and how, hey, Justin, what's up, bud? And how he basically grew up in the business and around knives. It's absolutely, it's a fantastic story. And you can really, really see Justin's face, or Austin, excuse me, Austin's face light up when he talks about his grandpa it's just it's so cool it, it's what you know i say that a lot but it's what channel chats is all about so very cool i hope you guys enjoy those so they will be coming up the next two saturdays so whew, now i need a drink whew. oh my goodness yep i do have my cherry limeade and of course our saturday knife live Official Saturday Knife Live Cup that was graciously provided by Southern Edge Knife Works. Always remember, guys, when you're shopping Southern Edge Knife Works, use the code Big Red, save 15% on your purchase, and get $5 flat rate shipping. So, yeah, when you're shopping over there at Southern Edge Knife Works, good folks, great people. And always remember, guys, if you're looking for something, and you can't find it, hit them up because they're really, really good about going out and and finding stuff for you. So, hey, Lancelot Leather. Oh, my, Manny, do you have the 20 CV Copara? Nice. Nice. Paper Tigers here. Lancelot Leather, welcome. How you doing? 
So there you go. Zach is throwing up the links for us again. Let's give Zach some love for all his help tonight. We'll give him some hashtag Zach attacks. And of course, we'll give him some thumbs up. Thank you very much for all that you do for not only me, but for quite a few other people, my friend. Hashtag DSKFS. Oh, you got the 8020.5. Oh, nice, Zenny. Very good. Pre-ordered that. Very good. So, yes, indeedy. All right. What are we going to talk about? Ah, the raffle. The raffle. Wow. That, that's all I can say about it, guys. The raffle. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, I will tell you that the raffle video, the drawing video will post tomorrow morning. Um, hey, she monster, what's up, buddy? It'll post tomorrow morning. Um, we've got our nine winners. I will notify them uh, via the emails that they sent me with their uh, with their receipt of their donation and everything. But guys, I will tell you on the raffle alone. On the oh, right on. Thank you, Zenny. Thanks again, brother. Always appreciate it, my friend. Um. There's some love for you. Guys, on the raffle alone. Oh, geez. Thank you, Peter. Thank you so much, man. Very cool. Thank you. I greatly appreciate it, man. Everything that you guys have done, and it just... Guys, the raffle alone raised almost $2,000. Can you believe that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jack, he made all these emojis and everything else you guys are using. That's that's just cool. Oh, PayPal doesn't like you? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Tim. So, yeah, but we, yeah, the raffle alone raised almost $2,000. Now, the cool thing about it, guys, is before I ever did the, uh, before I ever started the raffle, I think I know what that says, Denny. <laughs> I'm sorry. My Spanish is not that good, but I'll give you some love. I think I know what it says. Um, a lot. I had, I think, five or six of our international friends um, donate just because they wanted to help. They knew that it wasn't going to be open to. Um, oh, man. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much. Triple E, there's some love for you too. Awesome, man. Thank you. Um, yeah. They donated. They knew they weren't going to be in because of shipping and all that other stuff. I made that. I tried to make that pretty clear. You know, unfortunately, but but the generosity just kept flowing, guys. And it was when when all said and done and we do the shipping and cuz I had a lot of people donate for shipping, and I probably have at least double, if not close to three times the amount I'm going to need for shipping. So that's all going to go to Jack. Guys, I think we're going to be right around $2,500 total that we raised for Jack. Either a little low above or a little below. We're, but we're right in that neighborhood. So, so very, very awesome. So I just want to say thank you all for, for being um, uh, it's all right, monster. No worries. No worries, man. Uh, that's a bummer, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, yes. Yeah. So, um, yes, it will definitely go to Jack Triple E for sure. For sure. So thank you guys so very much for everything. So Winchester is in the house and we're already starting with the sniffy paper. Imagine that. Um, can you still send it? Um, well, I don't want to tell you no, but all the boxes are packed up and I'm going to ship them out Monday or Tuesday. So, because I'm leaving on Wednesday. So, I mean, it's kind of, unfortunately, it might be too late, bud. I'm sorry to say that. Hey, Knife Dude, what's up, buddy? So, Yeah. I, I hate saying that, but I think so. 
Yeah, so very, very cool. Thank you so much for you guys. That's just all the love in the community that we see over and over and over. So, all right, what else? Well, let's talk about a knife. Let's talk about a knife quick, and then we'll talk about something else. Hey, Rusty, I'm not sure I said hi to you yet. If I've missed you, I'm sorry. How you doing, man? Glad to have you. So what are we going to talk about first? Well, let's talk about this one. Zenny <laughs> raffle some sniffy, the cup and some sniffy paper. <laughs> There's some love, Zenny. Thank you so much. No, I got to keep the cup, man. That cup's cool. That thing keeps ice for a long time. Holy cow. So, but we're going to check this one out. This is the CRKT Lanny. Uh, I had this one for a few days now. It is, of course, assisted. It is a Leon Ma design. You got 8CR13 there on the blade. You've got that aluminum handle. Um, really, I really like the color combination with that kind of silver and blue. I'm digging that. Very cool. I like it. I like it. Um, you can kind of see there on the blade, it kind of looks like you have... You do have kind of a compound grind here, but on the edge, and I know it's probably not going to focus, but it looks like it's, it looks like it's a solid edge, not like it's, you know, a transition between the compounds because it kind of widens out there a little bit. So... Is it compound ground? Yeah. Is it really compound ground? Not really, I guess, is how, is how you can say that, you know? So I do like the kind of, it does have that kind of buckshot bone kind of look to it and that kind of full bolster, you know, just kind of milled into it. It's pretty darn comfortable in hand. And that jimping really does kind of aid in that grip. IKBS ball bearings. It is assisted, most definitely. And it is, it's pretty snappy. This might be one of the, oh, hey, Hollywood, what's up, man? Um, It might be one of the most kind of snappy of the assists that I've seen. It's pretty snappy. Hey, Ryan, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Oh, did you? Oh, right on, Triple E. Um, I will be having a review of the Trask. That'll be coming out, I think, Monday. I think I got it scheduled to go up Monday. And then this one will be later in the week or first part of the following week. We'll see. I'm kind of spreading it out while I'm going to be gone. So we'll see. I got a couple of unboxings to do, so I might fill in a couple of days with them. But just to make it easier for when I'm gone. Did that one come from JT? Now, this is from the Pass Around Group. This one's from the Pass Around Group. So, yeah, the Trask, the Trask review is going to be pretty interesting. <laughs> it really is. It's going to be interesting. Um, I really love the design, and I love the feel. And it's the same thing I've said about a lot of CRKT knives. Um, it's a fantastic design that didn't get carried through in production. That's all I can say, guys. You'll have to watch my review and just see exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, Todd, what's up, buddy? Glad to have you. So I hate saying that, but it's true. Now, this one, uh, this one's going to be a little bit more favorable. I, you know, it's, it's, I'm kind of digging it. I know a lot of people aren't going to like the fact that it's assisted and, and so on. But other than that, that's a pretty sweet knife. It's not bad. Uh, am I looking forward to your first Omaha? I am. I am, Justin. Yes, indeed. I was probably going to get a hold of you probably Monday. I was going to try to get a hold of you. But yeah, I am definitely looking forward to checking out Omaha Knife with you for sure. Um, if you're going to be able to do it, fantastic. Would love to do it with you. Um, I am coming in that day early. So, I mean, that's my plan for Thursday morning. Is, you know, Thursday morning, early afternoon is check out Omaha Knife. So, would love it if you could make it and we'd go out and have lunch or something. That would be very cool. Donkey Dave, what's up, buddy? Glad to have you. 
Oh yeah, you're on the phone again. I hear you, man. I hear you. I, I'm I'm terrible with my phone. I'm trying to. When I was I was at work on my lunch break the other night, and I'm trying to help. Uh, oh, that's great, Justin. Very cool. Very cool. Um, I didn't know how it worked out with your work schedule and all that stuff. So, um, <clears throat> but well, I'm glad you're here now, Rusty. So yes, definitely looking forward to getting into Omaha Knife and, and checking it out. Most definitely. I wish we had a store like that around here. Oh, thirsty today. <laughs> Dave's still in bed. Right on. Right on. Well, I tell you what. If you guys remember, I talked about Valtac Tactical here. Um, oh, last week, I'm pretty sure. and Maybe the week before I talked about it. But our good friend Tyler at Valtac, as you remember, you know, he helped a lot of us out early in. Well, we kind of helped one another out. His business was early, new and our channels were new and he really kind of helped us out and get it, got us going, uh, supplying us with knives and stuff like that. Well, unfortunately, he's happening to liquidate his stock. So if you guys check out ValtacTactical.com, Use the code KNIFE30. Hey, what's up, Mr. McKenzie? You never miss the knife check, man. You can always tell us what you're carrying. No, please do. Let us know. So, Valtag Tactical, use the coupon code KNIFE30. You can save 30% on all the knives and flashlights that are in stock. Now, they're going pretty quick. Um, it's been, I've had this, uh, it's been two or three weeks that I've been talking about this, so... Zach just threw up the link there again, so please check it out. Um, you can might find a good you might find a good deal on a knife. Now, there's not a lot of newer knives for sure, but he's got some pretty nice, you know, last year, last two year type models. So definitely. Yeah, they had he did have a mini Ethereum. I haven't looked recently to see if he's I need to look to see if that uh, uh, Ursa is still on there, man. I want that. I, I, I hope I can. I, I'm waiting for some overtime to come in. I'm going to order that bugger, man. I really want to get my hands on that. Another Laconico knife. and Very cool. Very cool indeed. So, but yeah. Knife30 at ValtacTacticalGear.com. You guys can save 30% knives, flashlights. You know, it's a good deal. It's a good deal. It's definitely at least worth checking out. All right, let's see here. I see some more knives. Todd Carr had the Cold Steel SR1 and the Leatherman Surge. Heavy pocket day. All right. And did... Did I miss... I want to make sure I get everybody's pocket checks in. But yeah, you can always tell me what you're carrying. So, all right, what else should we talk about now? Oh, I'm just catching up, guys. We just, we got home not long before we got on here. So I'm like, whew, catching my breath, really. How do I store all my knives? That's an excellent, excellent question, Brian. Um, I actually have a little uh, shelf unit that I got. Where did I get that? I got it at Hobby Lobby. I do have a Pelican case that I have some of my nicer knives in, my Laconicos and stuff like that, um, that I keep those in. Uh-oh, what did he do? <laughs> the Kaiser Slicer. Beat the crap out of the Kaiser Slicer. <laughs> right on. Andrew Arnold. Oh, nice. S45 pair of three. Very cool, Andrew. Nice. So, well, let's see. I'll... Hmm. Let me see. I'll try to show you guys. Hang on. All right. Don't get seasick. Never mind the messy room, but see that guy over there? That shelving unit? I got boxes and stuff everywhere. I started using that. I got that at Hobby Lobby. Really, really nice. I got a lot of them in there. I got, like I said, I do have a Pelican case for a few of the, you know, the nicer knives and stuff. So, oh, nice. Knife Dude's got the custom bug out. Hey, Z-Man, what's up, dude? 
Glad to have you. Um, I do have a couple of, oh, Mr. McKenzie, brand new Black Micarta Pena Mula. Oh, nice. Very nice, man. Very cool. That's really cool what John's doing, Jason. Uncle John's band. That's really cool. I think that's an awesome, awesome idea. Very cool. Yeah, I yeah, I actually found that. That's pretty cool. I did find that at Hobby Lobby. I mean, Nellie and I have been looking, and she's like, Hobby Lobby always has cool stuff, and she was right. So, and then I do have a couple of, you know, like the, the folding knife cases, like the Spider Co. one and stuff like that. I do have a few in some of those. So that's just kind of how I have them set up for the most part. All of them have desiccant packets in it and all that good stuff. So that's right, CK, smash that like button. How you doing, man? Glad to have you. I can't remember if I said hi to you yet, so I'm definitely going to say hi to you now. So um, Uncle John's band, it's just a, it's something he started and you'll have to go watch his channel, Didier. You'll have to go watch Grateful, Pan Grateful Panic. And if Zach can find a link and throw it up there, go check out, oh, I think it was his video yesterday or the day before. Craftsman Toolbox is a good idea, too. Hey, Mariana, hello. Um... It's just a cool little thing he's got. It's a way for him to kind of, you know, talk about people that are doing good things in the community and just like that, you know, and, and it's a really neat little, it's just a really neat little idea. You guys got to go check it out if you haven't seen it yet. So it, it's just really cool. And if you join, if you get... Now are elected into the band. <laughs> There's Zach. There's Zach with that Hobby Lobby link. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Very cool, man. Hashtag Zach attack. There you go. Throwing up that Hobby Lobby link. Yes, indeed. They do have some pretty cool storage ideas, though. They really do. <laughs> Home Goods is another place. You're getting one of those? It's it's pretty cool, man. I I can't think of the what it was actually called, but you know. It's a I'll have to look it up and see if I can actually find find the link or something and maybe put it down in the link of this video so you guys can see the one that I was talking about. Oh, doggone it. I forgot to give Zach his love. There you go. We gotta give Zach love. So, all right, let's check out another knife. So, this little guy is super. Hey, D2, what's up, man? Howdy, neighbor. How you doing? D2 is right down the road. 179? Oh, dang. I didn't pay that much for it, did I? I might have. Ooh. I needed something, though. Ah, yeah, I might have. Yeah, I might have. But, but cool. All right. Thank you for throwing that up there, Zach. Zach's on top of this, man. He's like, he's like the link detective. He just finds it, man. You talk about something, he finds it. And he throws the link up there. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. But all right, this little guy, got a little Kaiser knife here. And this is the Kaiser Cyberblade. <laughs> Would you look at this little guy? Holy smokes. That definitely deserves a holy smokes. Um, this one comes to us by way of Jamie Loves Knives. He donated this to the channel to do what, what I wish with it. I'll, it'll probably end up getting given away. Uh, hey, Renny. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, you kind of got to just cover everybody. That blanket statement. <laughs> oh, D2, man. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. We'll give D2 some love there. Thank you. It is little. It is definitely little. And adorable is, I guess, you know, it, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, I guess. But, you know, this is kind of on the same track as the 
its inspiration was, I guess, the Tesla Cybertruck. So, yeah, yeah, it is, Todd. Exactly. Exactly. So this is the the Cybertruck kind of knife. Um, it's micarta. It's M390. But, wow. It, this is, I mean, that's how, it, that's kind of how it looks in my three and three quarter inch hand. So I get about three and a half fingers of grip on it. Now, you know, if you're doing those like push cuts and those type of things and some scraping and you've got that kind of wicked tanto on it, it'd be a heck of a scraper though, you know? Oh, did you really Hollywood? You almost bought it. All right. Hey, Mr. G. Welcome, man. How you doing? Glad to have you. And Don's here. What's up, Don? Yeah, you do have, it is a liner lock, and you do have those little kind of, now those are like G10 or something, flippers on it, brown. They're, they sure don't look, well, let me see, let me get it over here in the light. It might be my card as well. Oh, no, it might be. I don't, golly, I can't tell. Yeah, it might be. I'm thinking it's G10, but it might be my card. I don't know. <laughs> Need more coffee right on, Didier. So, well, man, you're glad to be here. I am definitely glad to have you. But it's just a wicked little knife. You got the glass breaker. You got the pocket clip. Kind of that little spoon clip going on there. So, very, very interesting little knife. Um, it's, you do have uh, stainless liners in there that does have some. It has some relief going on in there. It's got some milling. I don't know if you can see the holes milled out in there. The lighting is not the greatest to see that. Oh, there you go. There it was. Oh, yeah. You can see the holes in there. So, no, not cardboard. They're my carta. <laughs> is there a cheaper version on Amazon? Okay. Yeah, break the window like in the Cybertruck. Yeah, and it wasn't supposed to break, was it? And it sure did. <laughs> so, I don't know. Oh, no. What happened? I hear some. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I missed a comment. What happened, Z-Man? What happened? I missed a comment. Uh-oh. Somebody said, sorry to hear about your uncle, Z-Man. Uh, I, I hope nothing bad, man. I'm sorry. I did not get it on the Rock Lobster. I did not, Justin. But... It's a kind of a snappy little bugger. It snaps out there really well. So, Evilly, what's up? Oh, man, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. I'm sorry to hear about your uncle. I'm very sorry to hear that, man. My condolences to you, the family. Definitely. Very sorry to hear that. But it is, it's a pretty cool little knife. Pretty cool little knife. Yeah, I missed all the live streams earlier that tonight. That's like I said, I was guys, I was playing, I was playing a kids create absurdity, I think it was called. Fun little game. I was having a blast with the kids. So sorry I missed them. Evil E, what is up? So I did miss the earlier ones tonight. But yeah, ah, oh, it's cool. Everybody showing some love to Z-Man. That's awesome, man. <laughs> Rennie's not po Rennie's not typing everybody's name. It's past bedtime. <laughs> that's that's a good one. I like that. Ooh, thirsty, thirsty. Oh. Man, so what'd you guys do today? Oh, Rennie, you got your 945. Very cool. What's that? There you go. <laughs> Zach's on it. Nice. Nice. We got a link for Kids Create Absurdity. Very cool. Nice. Thank you very much. That was a lot of fun. Oh, D2, you were working? Right on. Right on. Oh, Lou got his second shot. Okay, good, good. 
Hope everything works out with that. I had an issue for about six hours. That was mine. I had I had it I had about a six hour period of time where I felt like doggy duty. Uh, that's the best way to describe it. So I was playing kids create absurdity. So I'm gonna say words like doggy duty and and that type of thing. So smoke chicken wings and ribs, watch the pool deck, yard work. Yeah, I did a lot of yard work. Did a lot of yard work today. Sun came over. Awesome. Very cool, Grom. Just got off work. Oh, nice. Oh, the eclipse. Very cool. Caught some chickens. Okay. <laughs> Post office trip. Groceries. Yeah. Yep. That's Sunday. Or that's pretty much Saturday fair here, too. Groceries and that good stuff. So... I worked about 10 minutes and said, I'll do it later. <laughs> How you doing, Mike? Worked out today. Stuart worked out, did laundry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ran to the office, right on. Worked overtime. Okay. A little bit of knife money. Woohoo. There we go. Hey, RJ, what'd you do? Work today, too? Right on. Yep. The pup took you for a walk. Well, that was nice of him. That was very nice of him. Nice to get you out of the house every once in a while. That's good. That's good. Just had a barbecue and a fire. Oh, nice, Z-Man. Very cool. Hung with the boys. Right on. Right on, Gary. Hung a microwave over our range today. Oh, only swore a couple of times. That's good. That's good it was only a couple of times. I can I can neither confirm nor, nor deny swearing a couple times putting together uh, deck furniture. Yeah. Carving some spoons just for fun. Oh, that's cool. That does sound like fun. Very cool. Watched a lot of YouTube videos. <laughs> right on, Brian. Oh, I know, Dave. You're just starting your day. So put 50 cents in the swear. Yeah, there you go. Put 50 cents in the swear jar. Uh, the knife on the right, that's the Lanny. That's the CRKT Lanny. Ooh, repotted tomatoes. Yeah, I planted some stuff earlier this week, too. I don't think the cucumbers are going to make it. 90 hours a week? Yeah, that's... Yeah, 90 hours a week is... Yeah, that definitely would be old. Jupiter's Legacy. All right, I'll have to check that out. A few of mine, right on. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. But yep, that is the CRKT Lanny. 8CR13, aluminum. Very assisted, very snappy. Kind of, sort of compound, not really compound ground blade. Cool little knife. I do like the colors, though. I do like the color, the, 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 the silver and the, oh, what would you call that? Kind of steel blue color i do like that combination for sure so well we kind of already saw the cyber knife and it's kind of i don't know cyber knife futuristic knife night here on skl i guess because this other one is gonna kind of go right along with that cyber knife but this is a knife that was sent along by kubi to check out this is the Kubi uh, KU-166. Oh, man, I know I'm going to screw this name up. I had to write it down. Hippocampi. Hippocampi. So there you go. There's that little guy. It's a little fixed blade. The sheath it comes with, it's a nice... Kind of hard plastic, kind of kydexy. I'm not 100% sure if it is kydex yet, but that kind of kydexy type sheath does have a belt clip on it, which is really nice. Um, don't really look like you can, well, you might be able to. You might be able to work it out to scout carry it right here. Yeah, you probably can. I haven't tried it, but it looks like you could probably scout carry it. So, well, that's exactly it, Jason. It it would be a good, that's the, kind of what I see it as, too, as a little utility tool. Um, I mean, you got the big finger ring 
up there. I mean, you pretty much have to use that or your grip is just going to be. So, I mean, you're pretty much. But if you need to do there again, if you need to do some of that push, push cutty, scraping, this little guy would be good for that. It really would. I mean, it's not very big. Yeah, it, it kind of has that Kiradashi summer sausage. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you could, you know, a cheese or sausage or anything like that. Anything where you're, you're going to use that kind of, you know, push cut or scrape type motion with it, it. It's really perfect for that, honestly. So I really think it's cool. You asked her about French toast or pancakes. What was her answer? What did she say? Yeah, I mean, it'd be a good little box opener and that type of thing. I mean, just for size and stuff. You know, it's... Thank you very much, Zenny. There's some love for you. But yeah, I mean, you got a lanyard. Lanyard fans? Yes. Gutting a fish? I mean, yeah, you could definitely zip the belly with it. And, I mean, filleting, I like, I mean, yeah. I mean, you probably you probably might be able to. I like a, definitely a thinner, a longer, thinner blade when I'm cleaning fish like that. Charcuterie. There's our word, Peter. There's the word, charcuterie. Ian hooked us up. Ian wants one for the charcuterie board. That's just that's just one of those words that's so much fun to say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it definitely has its it it definitely has its intended purpose. You know what I mean? I don't see it as an overly versatile type knife, but I mean, you could you could. <laughs> And now we got meat and cheese. Is that like meat and cheese trays? <laughs> we got. Oh shoot! I missed the. Hang on. Let's let me go back here. Hollywood says every strange looking Kubi fixed blade I've seen is like have one of their fixed blades with a triple compound grind on it. Oh wow! Yeah, no. <laughs> yes, I would agree, Ian. I would agree. So, yeah, Stuart says scraping, scraping head gaskets. Yeah, there you go. Something like that for sure. Uh, there you go. You're, uh, yeah, it would make a really good, like, fatwood knife when you're trying to cut, um, you know, uh, feather sticking or cutting some fatwood off. Definitely good for that. Sure. It'd be great for that, actually. Very cool. Oh, nice. Justin's daughter made a charcuterie board. <laughs> Very cool. Uh-oh, we're back on that word. That word got us off on all sorts of tangents one night. <laughs> but, you know, it's kind of a cool little knife. It definitely has its intended uses, and y'all came up with some good ones. So there you go. There you go. So definitely, we'll do that. How's that? Yeah, sorry, Lou. I want to block Lou out there, but ah, we'll go up here. That'll work. That'll work. So, wow. Well, we kind of blew through the knives tonight. Like I said, a lot of, a lot of good, uh, there's going to be some good, um, going to have a couple of unboxings coming up this week. Got some stuff in. Our good friends from Titan Survival um, asked us to help them out again, and that's always fun. Uh, always like doing that, seeing what they're coming up with on their store. So I got a box from them to unbox. Oh, hey, Adam. How you doing, man? Glad to have you. You want this one? It's the KU-166. The KU-166 Hippocampy, I believe, is what it's called. So, uh, yeah. Zach, would you mind throwing that link up there one more time? If you could, if you still have it, that would be greatly appreciated. That way, there you go. There it is. Zach's on it. 
He's always on it. There you go. So there you go, Hollywood. Go check that one out. Um, they have them on Amazon. I forget exactly how much they are. KU-166 Hippo Camping. Yep, that's what it is. That's what it is. I don't hip, I don't know where that name come from, but that's what it is. So. Oh, Benchmade. Oh, nice, Didier. You got the 945 coming. Very cool. They're usually sold out. <laughs> An elephant. <laughs> that's what you get when you cross a hippo, an elephant, and a rhino, huh? The hippo campy. Uh, that you'd get an animal that I really wouldn't want to have anything to do with. I think, I think that's what that is. Wow. I don't think I want to mess with that. Oh, well, we got a minute here. Uh, let's find out who's going live tomorrow. Let's see about our lives. That's a good time to get this in. Well, let's see. Pick up a sweet budget knife. The Kaiser horn, 62 bucks. Very cool. Micarta N690. Oh, nice. And a removable flipper. Oh, cool. Nice. Very cool. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Z Man. Thank you. For, thank you so much, dude. For sure, dude. We're, I mean, we're sorry to hear about that, man. Definitely. But all right, Zach, Zach is going live at noon Pacific tomorrow. Very good, very good. Uh, Justin, are you and Molly going live tomorrow night as usual? I believe that's 8 p.m. Central. So we'll find out. Um, a Therapeutic Edge and Women Carry Knives are going live tomorrow at 2.30 Pacific on her channel. So very good. Make sure you guys check in to Women Carry Knives tomorrow, 2.30 Pacific. And OCD and Justin and Molly will be going live tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Pacific. So very cool. Excellent. Of course, we'll probably have slices and he'll be going live tomorrow night, I'm sure. So very cool. So tomorrow will be a fun field, live packed day. Very good. So I know I got some things to do tomorrow, so I'll have to squeeze in some lives, lives around what I'm doing. So very good. Very good. Whew. All right. Doggone, did I forget to talk about anything? It seems like it went really quick tonight. Doggone. Oh, what do we got here? Let's see what this is. <laughs> oh, Zach sent me that link. <laughs> That's awesome. You sent me the link to that. Very cool. Very cool. Did you throw up that whole link? Is that what you threw up there? I'm going to do it again. I'm just going to do it because I haven't done one in a while. I got to refresh myself. So there you go. Oh, it just fit too. Oh, it just fit. 193 out of 200 characters. So there you go. There's the link to the that storage, that shelving. Yeah, Zach just threw it up there as well. That's the shelving unit that I kind of showed you over there that I use to store my knives. So um, it's a pretty cool little, it's not cheap. So, hey, Tristan, what's up, man? Glad to have you. Glad you could join us. We're just kind of wrapping up here, shooting the breeze for a little bit, and then we're going to be doing our giveaway. What's everybody got on tap for tomorrow? Other than watching all these awesome people go live. I know I got some stuff to do. I got to put to put a deck table together so i'll be doing that at some point but what's everybody else doing oh yes talbert guys don't forget about talbert and his channel he's got his channel up now oh, it's up and running he's got a few videos on there so make sure to go check out talbert tipton's channel it's it's his name, Talbert Tipton. That's the name of the channel. So by all means. Hey, C. Lemansky, Grateful Panic. What's up? What's up, guys? So we were just talking about Uncle John's band earlier there, John. So very, very cool idea. CK's doing NASCAR, family lunch, and then mowing lawn, church. What do we got? Church. And then 
Family gaming in the evening. Excellent. Finishing a couple of tables. Nice. Uh, still under lockdown. Tomorrow is Monday in your case. Well, yeah, I guess it is, isn't it? What's Lorendo? Building out a building for the firewood. Oh, okay. Oh, it got taken out in the... Oh, man. Now, ice storm. Yeah. So, very cool. Let's see. Walk in the park. Maybe some fatwood hunting. That sounds like fun. Right on, Todd. Nice. Very cool. Mike, you play chess online with a friend? Oh, that's cool, man. That's very cool. Oh, what's Christine doing? Cleaning out the home, trip to the clothing store. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Well, it sounds like y'all got your days planned out tomorrow. I know I do, along with some lives. So I tell you what, guys, let's get this table cleared off. Let's give some stuff away. Hey, one minute. What's up, man? Glad to have you. Shane's here. Killing armadillos. Oh, they're pretty much a nuisance, aren't they? They can pretty much destroy a yard from what I hear. I hear they can really, really tear up a place. That's a bummer. A three-page case that Ooh, yeah. That does not sound like fun. Archery competition. Oh, cool, man. Good luck with that. All depends on the weather. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be pretty nice here today. I think. Ooh, water changes for the aquarium. I never looked forward to doing that. Oh, no. I never looked forward. Yeah, Knife Dude, are you, uh, you said you're going to the competition. Are you competing? Or are you just going as a, as an observer? We need more cherry limeade. Oral exams, ooh, oral exams for 30 students, ooh, wow. You're shooting? Okay, cool, man. Right on, well, good luck, dude. I hope it goes well for you. You have to let us know. Let us have, you have to let us know how it went. And now my cup's all messed up. I gotta fix my, there we go. I had to fix my gasket. I blew a gasket, oh no, I blew a gasket. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Share the cherry limeade. I tell you what, guys, this is stuff I find at Walmart. That's good stuff. It's no calorie, no sugar, no caffeine. It's good stuff, man. I really like it. All right. We're hydrated. Let's give some stuff away. What are we giving away tonight? Well, of course we are giving away some swag. As always, I forgot to grab some of it, so I'm gonna grab it real quick. We got some swag here. As always, we got some Smoky Mountain Knife Works. We got some Outdoor Edge, some more Smoky Mountain. And then of course, <laughs> holy cow. I told you, man, look at Zach go, man. He is just throwing up those links. Man, I'm going to I'm going to have to go to work tomorrow. He's he's going to make me earn my keep. Oh, no, you didn't miss much D2. We were just finding out what everybody was doing tomorrow. So, that's good. 2 <laughs> 277 for Yeah, it is. It's pretty cheap. It's pretty inexpensive, but it's good. So 277 for a 12 pack, that's pretty good. So, yes, and then of course we have our big swag bags. Of course, we got some Zach stuff, some hashtag DSKFS. We of course have some big red EDC SKL. Of course, yes, there is a hula. 
There is a hula sticker in there. So, yes. Um, what do we got? We got a tier one koozie or coaster. I mean, not a koozie coaster. Uh, we do have an actual patch in there. This time we have a Austin again from C Reisner Cutlery, traditionalpocketknives.com. Was very nice to send us out some swag. So we have a patch, kind of a rubber patch. Very, very cool. And I, again, guys, um, his channel chat is going to air on the 29th. I'm telling you, I have fun doing them all, but his story about the shop and his grandfather, it, it's touching, guys. It's really, really touching, and I highly recommend you check it out. That's all going to, that's going to be up on the 29th. We even got a knife, dude. We got some eggs and ham. I think I'm out of Shoe Monster. I don't think I have some Shoe Monster in here anymore. I think I'm out of those. Hint, hint. No, <laughs> it's okay, Shoe. Um, nice, fast, TPK, Southern Edge Knife Works. Oh, all the good stuff. You know what it is. Yeah, and he's very, very much into the traditional slip joints. So if you're if you're a slip joint guy, it's definitely, definitely, it'll be worth a watch. Definitely worth a watch. Uh, pretty sure I received the hula monstrosity in the mail. <laughs> oh, come on now. It's not that bad. a and cream soda. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Yes, Knife Dude, you are definitely in there. They were tiny. Oh, really? One minute. Oh, that's a bummer. Did you have a Did you have a Zach micro sticker micro sticker moment? <laughs> Remember? Oh, let's see if I can find them. I know they're here. Yeah, here they are. <laughs> the The micro hashtag DSKFS. Here we go. The itty bitty. <laughs> the itty bitty ones. <laughs> love those love those little guys you know what we're gonna throw one in there just for the we're just gonna throw one in there just for the heck of it we gotta throw one gotta throw a mini one in there too why not right so yes we'll definitely throw a mini in there oh nice rj's over 100 oh very cool very cool that's awesome so what do we got i think I think this is the last one from our good buddy, Tim. Might be one more in there. I kind of lost count because I had just ordered some as well. You guys know I love these. So, but we're going to say this comes, we're definitely going to say this comes from our good buddy, Tim, uh, for donating this i3 EOS uh, to the channel for giveaway on SKL. Great little lights. Love them. 85, 90 lumens, whatever it is. 90 lumens, yeah. They're great amount of little light. Oh, there's Zenny again hitting it up. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, just put them in random places. Put those micro DSKFS in random places. I may or may not have already done that because that's a message we want to spread around the world. Do something kind for someone. So, yes, indeed. Awesome. Thank you very much, Jason, for subbing to RJ. Remember to check out RJ. Remember to check out uh, NebuCloud. And I know I'm going to miss a lot of people that are on the channel. One minute. I mean, of course, Grateful Panic and Justin and Zach and Peter and Christine and just all the amazing channels that are here tonight. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Shoe Monster, of course. So, um, I'll do my, I'll do my one minute. There it is. Hashtag DSKFS. I will do my one time shameless plug, um, on for tonight. Um, but you guys see all the stars there. That's those guys are members of big reds brigade. I greatly appreciate all that support guys. Big reds brigade. You get the, all the emojis, the custom emojis, the, uh, Loyalty badges, you see, that's what the stars are. Um, you get all the emojis that everybody's throwing up there right now. Uh, you get 20% off any knife sale, um, early content, um, members only content, you know, all the good stuff that you see from pretty much any 
all the guys that have channel memberships and you know uh, Patreon and stuff, it's all pretty much standard. But that's what you get. So I just greatly appreciate all the support, guys. Thank you, thank you so very much. You guys are fantastic and and wonderful for doing that. So was that? Oh, there. I thought that was Rodney. What you doing, buddy? Very cool, man. And oh, one more time, don't forget, guys, the raffle drawing video will post in the morning. It'll probably be up. I think I have it set to publish at like 5.30, maybe 6 in the morning, I think. I might have went later because it was Sunday. I don't I don't post on Sundays a lot. So, but it'll be up tomorrow morning. Check it out. We got nine winners. And I'll tell you right now, I'll give you a hint. We have some winners in the chat right now. So there you go. There's a little hint. We have some winners in the chat right now. So just since you were, everybody, you were so gracious to come and join me for SKL right now. I'll tell you that. We do have uh, at least a couple winners in the chat. So if you guys are here and you donated, oh, look tonight. Look tonight. Hey, top dog. What's up, buddy? So there you go. That's something to think about. So, all right, and a knife. We got a knife to give away tonight, guys. We are giving away, I believe Christine just gave one of these away. It might have been in her 2K. But we're giving away the CRKT Ruger Windage. It's a decent, decent size knife, guys. What do we got here? What's overall? I don't remember on this one. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight and three quarters. So it's one of those, it's one of those bigger knives. And it's definitely, I mean, I have plenty of room left over in my little three and three quarter inch hand. There you go. I ha easily have another. To get all the way back in the handle, I mean, look at that. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. Um, it does have the very interesting pocket clip. I will say that. So there you go. It, it's it's kind of nice because it's out of the way, but it's just different, I guess. You know, it's just different. But very cool little knife. Of course, it is a Ken Onion design. So pretty cool knife overall so there you go that is our package for tonight so as always guys as always you will guess one number between the range that i give you here in a little bit one number one guess one guess only as always so smash that like button guys somebody say that oh shoe monster thank you buddy thank you so much Greatly appreciate it, man. I like peaches. Peaches are good. Thank you so much, man. So one guess. One guess only. And my screen is the official. Let's see. What else do I need to tell you? I think everybody's pretty much a... I don't think we have too many new people here today. You guys have pretty much all done this before. So I don't think I have to go too deep into it. But, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're ready. So let's see. I need to pick how many people do we got? About 90. Okay. There you go, Christine. Um, let's see. We're gonna do this to this. And our number is going to be this. All right. So, Zach threw up the rules there. Thank you very much, my friend, for doing that. <laughs> I do like peaches. What's wrong with peaches? It was a picture of a peach. I like peaches. That's as far as we're going with it. <laughs> All right. So, once you see the start on the screen from Zach, I will give you the... I will give you your... Number range, and we can start our guessing. All right, there's our start. Your range is 400 
to 550. 400 to 550. One guess, one guess only. Good luck, guys. We'll see what the guesses start rolling in here. 400 to 550. That is your range. Oh, man. Some good ones. Some good ones. Oh, buddy. All right. Nice. All right. We got our guesses rolling in. I'm scrolling back. Taking a look. What do we got here? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's some good ones. Let's see here. Remember, guys, Zach's going live at noon tomorrow, noon Pacific. Peter and Christine are going live tomorrow at 2.30 Pacific. And Justin and Molly are going live at 8 p.m. Central, 7 or 6 p.m. Pacific, excuse me, tomorrow. So don't forget about that, guys. Uh, jump in if you can. I know it sounds like some people got some plans for tomorrow. But if you can, definitely hop on and say hi, even if it's only for a minute. Oh, one guess only, please. One guess only, please. Looks like we might have to go back and one guess only, please. Might have to do some. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to do a lot of one guess only, please, guys. Zach is on it. Thank you very much, Zach. Greatly appreciate it. Get out there. Okay. Why don't we have a Big Red SKL theme song? I don't know. I don't know why we don't. Yeah, one guess only. One guess only. Just makes it easier on the mods and makes it easier on everybody else when we're going back to look to see who won. So, oh, hey, Jake. What's up, buddy? Glad to have you, man. Good to have you. Happy Saturday to you as well. Glad you could stop by and say hi. All right. Well, my theme song is bird singing. Yeah, it is kind of that on the on the intro, that's for sure. All right, Lou got his guess in. Very good. Oh, Zach, if you just want to let it run for, you know, 30 seconds maybe and then throw up some stop signs, that'll be good. Make sure, guys, like I say, we we say the rules because if if you don't follow the rules, you got to talk to Chuck. You got to follow the rules or we got to get Chuck involved. So that's all I'm saying. Nobody wants to get Chuck involved. Okay. So just, we, we got to, we, we got to keep Chuck out of it. We got to keep Chuck out of it. You know, he does some really bad things. We, he does some really bad things when he gets mad. We can't make Chuck mad. So I'm just saying, just saying. What's up, Chuck? All right, we got some stop signs. We're going to throw out the Gondek Hank, Stop Hank. And then, of course, we're going to throw out the Shadowborn Hank, Stop Hank, because we got them and we're going to use them. We kind of got away from it for a little while, but that's part of the fun, right? All right, there's your stops. All right, guys, your number was 468. Four, six, eight. Yeah, twelve million. That's a little high. A little high. A little out of the, little out of the zone there. <laughs> Thank you, Rennie. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. So, four sixty-eight. I know I saw a four sixty-seven. I saw one four sixty-seven, and that was knife, dude. So, well, we have some doubling up going in here. 
So I'm going to remove that one. I see a 467 from Yannicke as that his first guess because I know there were some multiple guesses going on. That is... I hope I'm saying that right. Yannicke, I hope I'm saying that right. So what are you guys seeing? I am seeing... I am seeing Knife Dude... And Yannicke, is that what you're seeing? Zach at 467. That's kind of what I'm seeing. Oh, Brian Cooper. Did I miss Brian Cooper as well? Doggone it. We got a lot of them. So we got a three-way tie going here. Oh, sure enough. All right. So was that the first one? Yep, I think it was. Okay. So we got Brian Cooper... We got Yannicke and Knife Dude. That's what I'm seeing. Knife Dude, Brian Cooper, and Yannicke. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. Good enough. Yeah. Well, we took your first guess. We took your first guess, and that's 467, so that'll that'll qualify. So, all right, we'll have a three-way tiebreaker now. So, Brian Cooper, Yannicke, and Knife Dude, you're going to get one guess. And let's see. Let's do... Let's do this. And our number's going to be this. All right, Brian Cooper, Yannicke, and Knife Dude. You're going to take one guess between 50 and 70. One guess between 50 and 70. It's the closest. It doesn't matter if you're over or under. It's just the closest. With And that's all we're going to do. <laughs> so, all right. Yannicke says 67. So we got a 67. Knife dude, what say you? And Brian Cooper, what do you say? So far, we got a 67. There's the list, just in case. 65 for Brian Cooper. And Knife Dude says, I didn't miss it, did I? I don't think I did. You said 476? Well, if you said 476, it came across as 467. Are you saying your original guess? Because yours is the first song. Yeah, your your guess came across as 467, dude. So we got 65. Knife Dude says 64. Okay. So our winning number is 63. So Knife Dude, you're the winner. There it is. 50 to 70. 63. Trust me, that says 63. 63 is our winner. So knife dude, very good. You were the closest. Um, you know the drill. Just shoot it to me. It's close. So yeah, if you thought you typed 476, you actually typed 467. So it worked out in your favor. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> He's like, I typed 476. Uh, no, no, you didn't. <laughs> So, yes, thank you. Email me or hit me up on Instagram, too. That's fine. I'm sure it's still there. We'll go back and look. It's always easier if you just shoot it to me real quick. So, no worries. But thanks a lot, guys. It's been absolutely awesome. I got to say thanks again for to everyone for making this fundraiser raffle. 
um, absolutely as awesome as it could be. I greatly, greatly appreciate every single one of you that had anything to do with that. So, <laughs> so we got Zach's live stream tomorrow noon Pacific. We have Women Carry Knives and a Therapeutic Edge on Women Carry Knives' channel tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. Pacific. And then we have Justin and Molly tomorrow night at 8 Central, 6 Pacific. Guys, thank you so much for another absolutely awesome uh, SKL tonight. Thank you so very much. Keep your eyes open. It's going to be... I'm going to try to do an SKL on the road next week from Nebraska, from my mom's home. She has Wi-Fi. We'll see how it works, won't we? <laughs> All right, Tim. Night, man. So, yes, indeedy. I hope I will see you all there. We'll see if it works. See you all tomorrow, guys, on Zach's Live for sure. Hopefully, Peter and Christine's as well. And I'll try to maybe jump on Justin and Molly's too. We'll just see how the day rolls along. But... Thank you so much, guys. Stay tuned for another edition of SKL, SKL on the Road, next week, right here on Big Red EDC at 10 p.m. Pacific. Oh, thank you very much, Rodney. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a terrific Sunday. I hope you have a fantastic week. And hopefully I'll see you next week, guys. Have a great night. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye.